Barbershops across the state are getting ready to reopen next week, but one attorney is questioning the governor's executive order. Jake Belexa explains. In North Mississippi, Aaron Washington of Shave's Premier Grooming Lounge is ready to get back to business after about seven weeks of being closed. There are many guidelines barbershops must follow, including allowing one customer per worker at a time. If it's two people, uh, a husband and a wife, and they bring in one child, and now one guy stay in the car, that's, that's, that's going to be different. I'm sending a child in without the parents. Uh, of age is going to be okay, but it, that would be a little different, but, but it's necessary to crap down like that. Mm -hmm, exactly. Barbers will be working this weekend to deep clean, expecting many customers on Monday. They plan to work late to meet their needs. We're practicing staggering, uh, stagger and sanitation, and we got temperature checking temperatures. It's going to be different uh, ourselves. Uh, checking our temps in the morning and in the evening when leaving, and then checking uh, guest temps when they come in. Barbershops are encouraged to use more technology like online systems for payments and to book reservations, so person to person contact is limited. Here in the Metro, Mike Land's attorney says he plans to open his barbershop Monday, even though he sees a technicality in the executive order's language. Number one, he's already been shut down once by the mayor and the Madison Police Department. Uh, so, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't want to get cross with them. So he's going to he's going to wait until Monday and miss an additional two days of work. Uh, you know, even though I read this order, I see it looks like it's effective right now. <clears throat> we don't want to put him in a spot of potentially violating some vague and ambiguous order uh, and then having him, you know, go through uh, uh, the, the issue of getting cited because he already has one cease and desist order. We reached out to the governor's office about it, but we haven't heard what, back. What the governor announced in Friday's news conference hair and nail salons and barber shops could open Monday. Jade Belexa, 12 News. Well, now that Mike Land can get back to work, his attorney has canceled an upcoming court hearing scheduled for next Thursday.